now that, that TB is the, the most important killer of people affected by TB. So for, for, for me, it's still the message that communities need to be working together. Unfortunately, we are still, uh, um, seems like we are together, but back to back. So we are seeing here in this conference that there is a, a lot of advantages already in science. We have already uh, knowledge that the treatment is prevention in, in, in LT, LTBIs. Um, so we need really a, a step up and work together. So and in, in, in face each other and see how we can work together. So each with our own responsibilities. We know the funding is an issue, but, but let's work together in order to end tuberculosis and end HIV. Like countries uh, have been signed and they are responsible by the Sustainable Development Goals to end TB and HIV by 2030. So let's, let's focus on that, let's work together, and let's be and end these diseases. Thank you. Thank you, Alberto. And uh, last year at the UNHLM on uh, tuberculosis, yes, it was I great was there. to see, yes, you were there, and it was great to see governments committing uh, a more, uh, coming up, you know, the, in terms <laughs> of political <laughs> commitment, yes. and also in terms of targets. Uh, what do you think of the 30 million people target uh, to be put on latent TB treatment by 2022? Is this target uh, ambitious enough? And out of the 30 million by 2022, 6 million people with living with HIV are to be put on um, uh, provided latent TB treatment. Uh, it's, it's great to see targets coming up for latent TB, but uh, do, you, do you really think we should be, uh, do, do you see that targets should have been more ambitious, more bold, so that the you know, we are more at more on track to end tuberculosis by 2020. Yes, yes, and there is a big, big uh, debate because um, for us as an advocate, one person is, is the one that we need to prevent. So we need to prevent everybody of having the tuberculosis, having HIV the infection, die of TB and HIV. So, so the targets are numbers there that of, of course countries need to reach it, but they need to have in mind are humans who are being affected by them. So it's not the number, it's the human being that need to be protected, need to be cured, need to be covered with everything in order to prevent these diseases. Otherwise, numbers can be reached, numbers cannot be reached. But if we save one life, we're gonna do this a lot. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, uh, before we co conclude this, uh, we'd like to hear from you uh, you have been involved in the fight against tuberculosis Many and years. really pushing uh, HIV and TB yes, institutions yes. and agencies to work collaborat collaboratively together. Yes. We are at a uh, point in the history uh, where TB and HIV agencies are working perhaps more closely than ever before. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Do you see that more should be done because uh, hundreds of thousands of people died of yes. uh, people living with HIV died of tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. So when we know how to prevent TB, when we exactly. know how to treat TB, exactly. Uh, it's, it's almost like unacceptable, right? Like exactly. uh, people living with HIV or anyone should be dying of tuberculosis. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so what more should be done so that we can save our um, uh, unnecessary suffering? Yes, I think uh, one of the main thing is to be honest, you know, because um, unfortunately we are, like I said, we are still are not looking at each other, no? So TV is killing people with HIV, but we have different agendas that Unfortunately, we are not, not put it in the same, the same place. So there is opportunities again to, to work together. I've been in this business for many years. So I've been knocking the door when the epidemic started of HIV. I've been in places where, where TB and HIV is, is, is really impacting our communities. But unfortunately, still now competing funding, competing uh, with uh, other issues that uh, trying to uh, cover up all the movements that we did in HIV and TV. 
So I think it's, it's, uh, it's good to see as uh, the, the universal health coverage and access, but also we need to focus, still focus on those communities who have been affected by, by TV. So, so start targeting those who have been ignored, you know, because still in tuberculosis, the issue of human rights, the gender, the key affected population are very new. When, it, when the HIV community knows where, more or less where the epidemic is. But, so we need to support each other with the experience of the people with HIV, but also to have the responsibility from the people with, uh, who are working in the HIV world to take the peace and responsibility of prevent TB among their own groups. So if we do our own responsibilities, I think we can do a total and we can do a cover more than we are doing right now. So we still we have chance. Unfortunately, many people have died and a lot of my closest friends also. But we don't want our children to die of TB or HIV. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll let you go. I know Thank the you. conference is there, but uh, before we really close, this is really the last question. Since you mentioned about uh, UHC as well, so uh, the UNHLM and UHC is going to happen this September. Yes. There's more attention on UHC. Do you see it as an opportunity or is it uh, not an opportunity to accelerate progress towards ending TB, ending tuberculosis, uh, ending uh, AIDS, and ending mm -hmm. TB, and other, uh, you know, scaling up intervention for other diseases as well? Mm -hmm. uh, so how, how do you see this, the, the more attention to UHC, more attention to U One Health, uh, more attention to uh, integrated health? Mm -hmm. um, is it happening at the right time when we are talking about uh, ending TB as well, 2030? Yes, at this point, uh, I'm coming from, from the uh, Alma Ata, from the primary health approach, and health for all in 2000. Uh, so I know that the integrated approach is there and it needs to be done. Universal health, universal access to health is very important as a human rights issue. So health is a human rights issue that needs to be addressed. So yes, indeed, it's an, an opportunity to bring back those ideals of, of health for all, put it in a place, but not to forget, if we are going to see the forest, not to forget the trees, the trees that, in this, in this example, HIV and TB. So not foreseeing the whole picture, we are going to forget the issues that still, after so many years, more in, in, in tuberculosis, but still need to be addressed so so we don't have still in TV energy the right tools we we saw here still some vaccines are in developing it's a good promise but for people who are already affected or infected something's going to be very hard for them so it's not going to reach that line so so we need to of course see the big picture but never forget our, our main issues that we still have a lot of things to do and need to work on that Thank you, Bobby. Thank you so much. Uh, very pleasure.